Hello, family. This is the Queen Who Care Cares for You. I hope everybody is doing well today on this beautiful Saturday morning here in Atlanta, Georgia, wherever you are in your state, in your country. I hope that you are living life on your own terms and agreements, the ability along with your responsibilities. So I hope everything's going well for you and um, I hope y'all enjoyed those uh, daily clips um that um the daily videos that i have been putting up and just letting you all hey i'm still at cruise i know i said i was gonna leave but i tell you you have to be careful 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 who i am because you know what some y'all have heard me say many times before you think you going to a better spot but hey when you look and and you know it it is better for us the work, I mean, because you don't have to work as hard. All you're doing is standing up talking to people and giving samples. But the hours, I tell you, uh -uh. if you need to make money, that ain't, that ain't going to be the place to work. <laughs> it really ain't. It really ain't. And you know what? Life is so much. I mean, I tell you, like I tell you, family, you are constantly learning at all times in life. Life is one big classroom, and it's really true. And you have to be careful how you maneuver out here because you think you're leaving one thing going to something better and then you look around, it is totally different. So even though um, I want to leave Kroger's and hey, the work, the work is a little harder, more harder, but I tell you what, there are more, they are more, it's more security there. I know that I'm going to get my certain hours at, at Kroger's. I know, I know that I'm going to get it. But here, I mean, mm-mm. Uh, you know, and another thing at Costco is a lot stricter too because they like got everything uh, pretty much like military style. I mean, when you you take your breaks and you know so when when you take your fifteen minute break, somebody come to relieve you. They give you like a little stopper, a little stopwatch thing. They they gonna keep one. You they gonna take one, and you just start it when you and um. When your 15 minutes up, it's going to go up, beep, beep, beep. That means you are supposed to be back to your cart. That's for the 15-minute break. That's for the lunch break. And um, you, uh, when you're getting ready to uh, get off at and um, wash the dishes, the little dishes that they do have that you um, use for your sampling, you have to make sure that um, you, you're going to, you got the first person, she's gonna, she or he's going to be there to wash. You got the second person. You got the second person. Uh, you got the second person. They're going to be there to rinse. And you got the third person. They're going to be there to put up the dishes. So everything is ordered. You only got 30 minutes on the clock to do that. You got to have all that done within 30 minutes. Have wash the dishes. Have those clock clean. And have everything put up. And ready to get the heck off the clock. <laughs> no booting around or nothing like that. Now, Kroger's, you might work a little harder, but you got way more lenient at Kroger's. You can, hey, you take your break. I mean, because you punch out for break. So if you want to come back a little later, if you want to take an hour break, 30-minute break, 15, 20-minute break, you can. And um, if you just want to step away or whatever for a while, you can. You can kind of boot around. As long as you do what you want, as long as you do what you have to do at Kroger's, they pretty much don't bother you about, oh, you got to do this, you got to do that, blah, 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 blah. No, but now, hey, the work is more intense, but you have more room to move around and freely and do what you need to do. Whereas with Costco's, you really don't, you know, you, hey, if you're not on your break or whatever, if you're not on your break or lunch break or whatever, uh, you know, if you do have to go to the bathroom for a reason, if you do have to go to the bathroom, you can, um... Turn your cock around, uh, turn your cart around and use the bathroom, but you know, but um, uh, the supervisor is she's pretty much very nice lady, really nice lady, but script, script, script as well. I mean, you know, script with an attitude. <laughs> I have to put it like this. I have to tell it. I'm a queen who cares. I'm gonna hey, you know, I'm gonna give it to you. And I'm gonna give it to you straight and good. You know, it looked like she got a little, a little attitude going on there. But, you know, like I said, these black, I never met the, the black managers here in Atlanta. 
I can't say about no other state. Well, I can't say about Florida because, you know, I lived in Florida uh, from uh, 1970, in the 70s to uh, 2005. And all the time I've worked in Florida and everything, I never cro came across managers like how I came across here in Atlanta, Georgia. When I tell you they got attitudes and no customer service, I don't know how these people got the, the position as being a manager here. I really don't. I really, really don't know. I don't know how they did it. They must have known somebody. They was at the right place at the right time, whatever the case may be. But I, like I tell you, these black folks here, I never met a, such a people that carry on the way they carry on. I mean, my God, they act like, oh, it's just terrible. When I tell you terrible, terrible. Uh, uh, so, um, like today, I was supposed to be at work at, well, 1230. Well, I thought I was supposed to be at work at 1230. But, um, she called me and told me I was supposed to be at work at 11. And, um, so, uh, um, she told me, then, don't worry about coming in because I would be too late to get on the floor. But, um, lucky, I'm still at Kroger's. I can just, hey, I'm scheduled on it. I'm scheduled on Kroger's schedule from 5 p.m. to midnight. So, lucky, hap, I got another job I can go to to make up, <laughs> make up them hours. Mind me, I do have bills I have to pay. And I need steady money to pay them bills. And I cannot be working two and three days. And you got to, and you have to pay all your bills. No, it don't work like that. When you got car payment, insurance, and you got your other bills to pay, you need a full check to make those payments. You can't work two and three days. So, you know, what? I told my nephew, I said, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to stay with Kroger's, and I'm just going to work them uh, on the weekends. I think that will be the best thing to stay just grow. Or Costco's on the weekends because it look like that's just for a weekend. Dog, it is hot in here. I need to turn on. Oh my God. Whew. Turn on. Oh, let me turn on the AC. Oh my goodness. It's just too hot. Yes. So I need to, um, what I plan to do is just stay with Kroger's. And we do have some good hair. We got two new guys. They came. They, you know, I didn't. When I went in yesterday, I got off from Kroger's at about seven o'clock, and then I left and went over to Kroger's, which is not that really far. Maybe about twenty minutes away. Um, if I didn't have to run into traffic and all that, I would have got there quicker. But um, with the traffic, I had to stop for gas and all that. So um, I had to. Uh, I got there about 8 o'clock, but um, we got two new guys there, the young boys, and, you know, I was trying to show them the ropes and all that kind of stuff. You'll see it in the video. Y'all see me cracking up, laughing, acting goofy. <laughs> but, um, oh, my goodness, what is this thing doing? Okay, I, I should have used my selfie stick. I got the selfie stick at home, and I don't want to use the selfie stick. But I tell you, it's not, mm -mm. I'm glad I didn't, family, I just want to let y'all know I am still a Kroger's. I am glad I didn't let it go because um, it just, uh, cost, Costco is really, is not giving me the hours that I thought I was going to have. And um, so with that being said, I'm still at Kroger's and I'll probably stay at Kroger's until I make my um, transition to move to Virginia. Um, next year so um, and at least when I go to you know when I'm moving I know that I can have a job that's <coughs> already that's going to be waiting on me and everything here but it's a nice sunny oh my goodness it's a nice sunny day out here very nice sunny sunny out here like I said I just came from out here um I hear my nephew, there, there he go right there pushing the buggy back to, he, you know, he got to get his little $60 groceries every, <laughs> every week. And, you know, I told him to get something soft because he had a toothache real bad. And that tooth need to be come out. And I told him don't get all that hard food. So um, he be trying to eat all this hard food and know that he got a bad toothache. So I told him to get something soft that he can eat on and um 
get something soft that he can eat on. But um, I'm getting ready to end this video. I just want to give y'all an update on, say, all right, nephew, say hi to the, my subscribers. Hi, nephew. <laughs> what did you get in there? Some stuff that I could chew. <laughs> Let's hope he really can chew on it. <laughs> but this is a queen who care, cares for you. You know I do. And this is a nice, sunny day out here in Atlanta, Georgia. We are in Decatur, where it's greater. <laughs> and I am getting ready to run a little bit more errands. I don't have to be to work until 5 p.m. today. And I am looking forward to having a phenomenal day at work. Like I say, sometimes you think that you are making a decision. Y'all just be careful. The decisions y'all make out here, you know, we can get in our fuses, leaving jobs, getting mad. Oh, I'm tired of this job and all this kind of stuff. But you know what? I'm glad I did not leave that job. I really didn't because it, all these right now, cro um, since I started at Costco, they done gave me three days off, and I don't like to miss money. When it comes to making my money, I'm serious about that. I am a business woman all the way around. And my money, I have to have a certain amount every month to pay my bills. <laughs> and that is a must, must, must. Because, hey, like they say, when the money getting gone, the honey get funny. <laughs> no, the honey gone. Yeah. <laughs> but we get ready to go, trying to find us a bite to eat or whatever. And... I will keep y'all. Oh, is somebody blowing at me? No. Oh, I will keep y'all informed of what's going on. Peace, love, and happiness, and I will see y'all in my next video.